Imagine for a moment that you are gradually losing your sense of touch. Simple, everyday tasks become more and more difficult. Eventually, they are beyond you. Imagine not being able to fasten buttons, open doors, or hold a knife and fork. All tasks requiring a high level of dexterity, but we all take them for granted. Now look at your fingers. Imagine them going white and numb in cold weather, and as they become warm again, becoming terribly painful as the circulation returns. And because there is no effective treatment for your condition, imagine putting up with it day after day, year after year. These are the effects of prolonged exposure to hand-arm vibration. It's a condition which is estimated to affect about 300,000 people in the UK, and about a million more people could be at risk. In the early stages of vibration white finger, sufferers experience a tingling sensation in the hands, or pins and needles. This may be accompanied by whiteness and numbness in the fingers. In mild cases, this loss of sensation and discoloration of the fingers may only affect the tips of the fingers. If exposure to vibration continues, more fingers become affected and attacks become more severe and more frequent. And as the condition worsens, the whole of the affected finger can become white and numb. These symptoms can be very painful. They can cause loss of dexterity and reduced grip strength. And they almost always will be at their most severe during cold weather. Uh, I suffer very cold hands. Uh, they're worse in winter than summer, but they're still cold at this present day, even though it's a warm day. When I've used the tools, there's sometimes there's a frost on the tools, the pneumatic tools, when you've used them, and that accentuates the feeling, and sometimes they're dead, very dead, numb all the while. You know, like in the summer, you'd be there, and the one finger would be absolutely white. The rest of the fingers are not, you can tell the colour in them. The one would be white and it'd be numb. You just couldn't feel nothing with it. Yeah. I was waking up in the morning and my hands were numb. And I panicked first, I thought it was something wrong with my heart. Cold weather was the worst, you know, when it was cold. I was yeah. putting gloves on the engine to try and... I was swapping gloves around, thinking it was just the cold weather. And Through about half an hour, you get the, the tingling, and it's like fire. It feels as though you're burning sometimes. It tingles that much. Hand-arm vibration syndrome affects employees in many industries, but some are more at risk than others. At-risk industries include construction, forestry, foundries, heavy engineering, mining and shipyards. And the tools and equipment used in certain jobs also present a higher risk of vibration injuries. These include stonemasons, builders or building contractors, carpenters and joiners, electricians and electrical maintenance fitters, and gardeners or groundsmen. But anyone using power tools or machinery regularly and for prolonged periods, or high vibration equipment, can be at risk of vibration injury. About two million people in the UK believe that they suffer from ill health caused by work. And each year, 20 million days are lost due to work-related illness, losing British industry hundreds of millions of pounds in sickness absence, lost production, administration, insurance claims, and increased insurance premiums. Compensation claims based on vibration-related injuries are becoming increasingly common. The Association of British Insurers says that in 1997, vibration white finger accounted for over 8% of all occupational disease claims under employer liability policies. And awareness of the condition has been heightened by the creation of a £500 million compensation fund to meet the claims of more than 40,000 former miners said to be suffering from vibration white finger. The, the first starting point, obviously, is the acceptance that I've got a condition. I think there's, 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 oh, the, the uh, hand arm vibration exists. We've obviously got evidence from our employees' liability claims. And I would find it difficult to believe that most companies haven't got that kind of information in-house. 
You shouldn't postpone tackling vibration issues in your business and investing in the future health of your employees. And if it costs you money to, to do vibration monitoring, to change methods of working, just think of the money that that's going to save you in the future from compensation claims. It must be well worth spending the money now. £1,000 this week is better than £10,000 next week.